Thank you and hello everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, as mentioned, my name is Haley. I am a product manager here at Maestro and I'm focused heavily on some of our reporting um, and analytics uh, work. So just to start off, what we've learned from talking to so many of our customers and so many prospects is that analytics is really important to people and they really want to understand what is the data that they're collecting about their customer experience. And the trouble is that data is really difficult to get a proper hold of and it's really difficult to decipher and actually understand what is it saying about your customer experience. To date, it seems that most companies have been using CSAT to get a peek into this world and, and understand their customer experience, but there is a massive blind spot. CSAT only tells you about a small portion of those conversations, but how do you get, how do you really listen to your customers? The challenge here is that you might be dealing with, you know, thousands of conversations and sometimes even millions of conversations. So in this vast sea of conversations, it's really difficult to cut through the noise and find the needle in the haystack, the, the conversations where it would be truly useful for you to look at them and for you to follow those and, and find conversations where customers felt upset about something or they felt really frustrated so that you can get to the bottom of what caused that. So how can you do this? <clears throat> I want you to, for a second, just imagine a technology that could surface those critical conversations where customers felt upset or frustrated. It could surface those to you and allow you to do some root cause analysis into what drove that negative feeling. Was it due to an agent error? Was it due to a process error? Was it due to a product issue? On top of this, it allows you to figure out which agent groups or which topics were the drivers of those negative experiences. And the goal of all this is to allow you to figure out where can you make the biggest impact? What topics or what people should you prioritize in order to improve your customer experience? That technology is what we've built um, through our sentiment analysis dashboard. And I'm really excited to demo it to you guys today. Um, like we said, please feel, to, uh, feel free to just drop any comments that you have or questions that you have in, have in the chat section. Um, I will get to them. I'll try to take a look at them as we're uh, walking through the demo, but um, I'll also take them at the end. Great, so let me walk you through this um, negative sentiment dashboard. What we're looking at here is a dashboard that tells you about the negative sentiment experiences that we've detected in your conversations with customers and allows you to deep dive into those conversations to identify what caused them. So let's take a tour of this dashboard. Up at the top here, we have some really high level information about sentiment and negative sentiment. So first in here, we're looking at what are the total number of tickets that we found in your help desk or the defined time period. From there, this is the number of tickets that we actually analyzed. Generally, we randomly select a sample of 10 to 20% of the tickets that are available in your help desk. From there, we'll share of the tickets that we analyzed, how many did we find negative sentiment in? And then lastly, we'll tell you, this is how many negative sentiment tickets we found in your help desk for the current week based on what we've analyzed. And this is how it compares to the prior week. So in this case, we're down about 66% compared to the prior week. So off to a good start there. Now, the next question on your mind would be like, okay, you told me you found 20 negative sentiment tickets, but what were those tickets and what was, what were people frustrated about? That is what this next report tells us. So here we allow you to actually click into the tickets so that can, you can view it, but we also just extract the part of the conversation where we detected negative sentiment. So um, this customer, for example, is really frustrated about uh, some PayPal payment issues. This customer is really frustrated and expressing negative sentiment about some defective items. So you can really scroll through this, see all 20 tickets that we found here and see the reason they were uh, flagged as negative sentiment. All right. From there, 
you can actually break down negative sentiment by the various agent groups and help desk groups. In this case, we're looking at Zendesk. So you'd be able to see who are my agent groups? What are my Zendesk groups? How many tickets did we analyze for each? And then how many tickets did we ne detect negative sentiment in? And then quickly see what that percentage is. Something cool that you can do here is sort by any of these columns based on what's important to you. The way we've seen a lot of customers um, use this is sorting by percentage to see which agent groups had the highest percentage of negative sentiment tickets and then uh, drilling in deeper after that. And in this last section, we're breaking down negative sentiment and comparing it other against other data points. So let's just walk through what those data points are. First, we're looking at sentiment based on the number of public comment tickets or the public comments on a ticket. So we've decided to bucket um, those public comments into different groups, zero to two public comments, three to four public comments, uh, 31 to 35 public comments, et cetera. And you'd be able to see how is negative sentiment or the amount of negative sentiment changing as the conversations get longer or as they're shorter, et cetera. In this next chart here, we can look at sentiment based on your various channels and see how those compare to each other. We can see sentiment based on the various ticket forms they might be submitting through your help desk. Sometimes people use different um, ticket forms based on different topics, so you'd be able to see that here as well. And finally, we'll break down negative sentiment based on the tags on those tickets so that you can associate, you know, what types of tickets um, tend to have the most negative sentiment. Something that might cross your mind right now is like, okay, I see that for chat, the um, amount of negative sentiment tickets that we've detected is really high, or it's the highest in comparison to the other channels. But that makes sense because the number of chat tickets we get is also highest in comparison to the other channels. So how do I do a more equal comparison? Well, something that you can do is toggle over to this option, which is negative sentiment per 1,000 tickets. So what this is telling us is if we were to have 1,000, uh, for every 1,000 tickets that we have through chat, every 1,000 tickets that we have through email, every 1,000 tickets that we have through phone, how many negative sentiment tickets do we have then? So essentially, what is my percentage of negative sentiment tickets for each channel so that you can put each channel on an equal playing field, normalize that data, and then see which is ranking the highest or lowest. Apart from just viewing all this information, something else that we've seen customers um, want to do is actually just view this data for a specific agent group or for a specific channel or a specific kind of tag that they already have an idea people struggle with. Well, if that was the case, then you can use this filtering capability right here. Let's say you knew that billing was a huge problem in your company and you were getting lots of billing issues. Well, you could filter by the billing tag, apply those filters, and then see all the negative sentiment tickets associated with that, how that's changing over time, do that same breakdown by agent group and Zendesk group. Um, you could also filter by your various rubrics, by your various agent groups, and so on and so forth. After looking at this dashboard, something that um, we've seen or what we've heard from a lot of customers is they really want to then deep dive into those uh, negative sentiment tickets that keep coming up and, and be able to coach on them. So something else that you can do in Maestro, apart from just looking at these reports, is set up a, an automation. And this automation would essentially say, you know, send um, 10 negative sentiment tickets from my account for grading every week or every month. And that way, just as part of your normal QA, you are also focusing on QAing and grading um, tickets that had negative sentiment detected so that you're always grading those tickets where you can get the most insights. And then you can actually add those um, negative sentiment tickets to coaching sessions, either directly while you're grading those tickets or afterwards. So that's the entire sentiment analysis um, dashboard and flow I wanted to share with you all. I'm going to see if you have any comments. Awesome. Um, I see some questions about people who are, I think, part of Maestro wanting to um, use the dashboard for your team. 
you can absolutely reach out to your CSM and the CSM can turn it on for you. Um, the reason it is, uh, <laughs> glad to hear it, Caroline. Um, the reason it's not released to everyone right now is because it is still in its beta state. So we're still ironing some things out, but happy to uh, release this to anyone and partner with you on improving it. So definitely reach out to your CSM and we'd be happy to help. Any other questions on the dashboard or anything else? Sorry, yeah, um, quick question, and I might have missed it from the beginning. Did you say, it looks like it's coming from, so you're looking at trends here and sentiments based on a on an email body, for example. Um, is that also working with CSAT comments or just an email body or a chat body? Um, can, I, can I ask just for some clarification? Are you mm -hmm. saying, does this also work on tickets where you had a CSAT response? Yeah. Gotcha. We, um, this would work on any ticket. We're just taking a sample of any tickets in your account, pretty much agnostic of whether there's a CSAT um, associated with that ticket or not. So yes, it would include tickets where um, you had CSAT uh, responses and something that we are adding in in the next like uh, very near future is actually adding in a column over here that'll tell you if there was a CSAT response and what that CSAT response was. Does that answer your question? Amazing, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the question. Anything else come to mind? We'll also be sending out an email with the recording after. So if you do have any questions, you can reply back to the email as well. And thank you all for joining.